Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus. One more time, and I'm here for the same reason that I'm always here. Freedom for myself and for everybody else. The kind that makes me smile, makes me feel good and happy and joyous. Life is good with me, my family, and you. Yeah. And you feel in the same way about your situation. Man, I'm telling you. Well, some people might say that's a dream. Someone say keep hope alive. Someone say our hope is a promise that's never answered. But faith is acting as if it is. Only to recognize having stepped out on it, you were able to do it. I don't understand it, ladies and gentlemen. I just don't understand it. But there's something about faith. I can see why you can walk on the water. Not everybody can do it because they, I'm telling you, I said faith. And people got different measures of faith. People got different measures of faith. I think about the you, you young people out there. You especially. If you are like me, like I was when I was young, you had a zest for life. You had it. You want to live and you want your dreams to come true every day. All of you. And you're doing basically what you can under your particular situation and your predicaments to do just that. And it's very, it varies for different people, different levels. You know what they are. And a lot of people are successful. Few may not be so successful, and some not successful at all. And the results of it is you know what the results are. But I sit here. And I know you're going to go straight through your life, probably like those before me, like me. There is only one reason that I'm here today before you. Faith got me here. But every time it was a miracle. Because it should not have happened. You should not have walked on that water. But... <laughs> With faith, it had to walk. <laughs> faith became a board, a bridge, under it. <laughs> it had to. Golly. <laughs> now, I, I'm, I'm saying that, young people, because uh, I remember the moment that I call myself recognizing the hand of God it was at a moment like that. A moment like I had experienced that kind of faith. I was experiencing that kind of faith. I dared. Never crossed my mind that I couldn't. That's why I know you can walk on water if you got that kind of faith. Because the faith I had was no way it was supposed to happen. But it happened. And after it happened, I looked back at it. And I realized it wasn't supposed to happen. So to me, it was a miracle. But what it was, it was faith. A miracle. Faith causes miracles. My God. Faith causes miracles. Things that would not happen. But because of faith, wow, the powers that be have to. <laughs> well, what I really wanted to say to you is this. You guys better slow down because if you are like me, you might live a long time. And life is different. 
after you pass a certain age. Life is different. Now, I say that because I go way back. I was born, my mother, I think, was 14, 13 or 14 years old. My grandmother was had a bunch of kids, and she was still having them, so how could uh, she take me? But her mother, my great-grandmother, took me in. They raised me. This is a picture of my great-grandfather. You see how old he is? That's the man that raised me. And if you can see that little picture of somebody on the side, I think that might be me. But I'm not sure. What I'm saying is, I've been around old people all my life. And based upon where I've been placed in society, I've seen a lot of kinds of things. I've seen people live their lives to the fullest. Only in the end, to go through holy hell. I've seen them ask for euthanasia, pleading, begging, only to be rejected by men who have no compassion for you at a time like that, who have accepted some thought that this is against God. I mean, everything else is okay, but now this, at your greatest moment, when you are hurting the worst, many of us, and we just have to sit there and suffer. You take a dog, you take a cat, you take a mouse, you take any animal and make the pain easy. But when it comes down to us human beings, we'll let you suffer and suffer to your last breath. Man, how can individuals be so heartless? You can go out and allow people to drop bombs on babies, <laughs> drop bombs on people, blow up their buildings, blow, blow up their schools, blow up their hospitals, squash them. You will exercise sanctions that cause pain and suffering to their people as a tool to make them do what perhaps you can't do, but wish you could, so you want to force them. And if they don't, they're suffering. My, 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 my. All of these things take place. Because we don't know better. We've been deceived out of our mind. So I'm saying to all of us in this particular conversation is that if we continue to live, we're going to get old. And if we don't prepare for that, what the best thing you can do is to bring heaven to earth right now. Then you don't have to worry about getting old. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. <laughs> but until you do that, you have to keep in mind that you're going to need health care. You, you're going to need a lot of it. You're going to, many, most of you, not all of you, but most of you are going to come to a point in life you're going to be asking God to take your life. You're going to be hurting so bad. So why don't you recognize, start talking to your people about making the type of preparations so that when that moment comes and you say, oh, hell, I got to go. I don't want this. They can say, okay. Buddy, and you can say, I love you, glad to have been with you, loved you to the max, but I'll see you in the next world and going out of here. That's what I'm talking about. They'll put you on the death row, force you to. Now you can beg to and they won't let you. Come on, people. Come on, come on. So I want to I want to put that on your mind as well. Now, I don't want you to think for one moment that I'm putting that above my number one concern. And my number one concern is, is that joy rain down like, you know, for those of you who don't get snow that much and they tell you, they forecast that there's gonna be some snow and all of a sudden you wake up one and it's just so much snow, it just rained down. Well, I'm talking about joy like that. Just rain down. 
all over the nation, all over where humanity exists. Man, you know when I say stuff like that to you, ladies and gentlemen, many of you might say, look at that guy dreamed. But the thing that goes through my mind as it just did is that this what I'm saying is as magnificent to you as it is to me. Just hear me say it. It's as magnificent to you as it is to me. The problem is you don't believe it. You don't believe it can happen. You don't think that humankind could be brought to that point where they would give in. You believe that humankind is too hateful, too resentful, too mean, too cruel, too racist, too ungodly to even consider something like that. And so rather than you making sure that you don't be a part of that number by saying you're going to do everything you can to cause it to happen, you jump in the band with those who do everything they can to ignore it. Did that make any sense? <laughs> get out of there and get back over here and let's take care of this business. You know, that's what the Spirit is telling you. Get the tap and tip. So, what I want to leave with you is this. You have one of the greatest moments ever in history. You have a before you an opportunity to cause to happen right here in our midst during our time what people have always hoped for hoped but never had the faith we have the opportunity to have the faith that that which brings peace offers prosperity and freedom and joy in life. That our dreams may be fulfilled and our needs, wants, and desires are at, our, at every disposal. We also must understand that those things essential for survival is guaranteed. They're coming amongst us, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, and everything that we need we, each of us who benefit from it, get a chance to play a role in the process of creating it in such an abundance that it would be overflowing. Nobody missing anything. No cheating, no lying, no stealing, no killing, no racism, no hatred, no bigotry, no money. Just living. Unlimited. Whatever our minds can imagine, the resources are here. And that desire, that lust would cause us to discover what to do. And we together as an arm of creation will cause it to be. <clears throat> oh, oh, the lying and cheating and stealing and uh, bombing and killing folks and lying and stealing. Oh, oh, that's yesterday's stuff. We've grown beyond that. Can you <laughs> have that kind of faith? Can you have that kind of faith? Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus. Goodbye.